Okay, here we have the Apple IIGS. Today I decided to do a little experiment with it. And I've had the Apple MIDI interface for a while. And I just recently purchased a MIDI capable keyboard at a flea market for $5. Just went to Radio Shack and got a set of MIDI cables. I only have the MIDI out hooked up, but I could hook up a MIDI in cable to this little Casio I guess late 80s early 90s I don't know stereo keyboard with MIDI and as you see it's set to MIDI I'm here getting ready to load up a song I didn't want that one And so we're going to load a song here. Apparently this Casio that I have mapped properly to the Casio CZ230S. And we're going to load... Eh, and kind of much music. Sorry about the shaky hand there on the iPhone video. Thought you'd enjoy that. And the whole reason I was talking about mapping and all that stuff is all this came out before the general MIDI standard, which was introduced in 1993, as I, if I do remember correctly, which meant that a MIDI keyboard and a sequencer would hook together and the notes you put in the sequencer and the sound you selected in the sequencer would be the same in the synthesizer. That's the general MIDI sound bank of 128 instruments. The 2GS was released well before that and uh, this keyboard was as well.